What's up? This is called Zerius from JaVinci. Very few people ever talk about this. There's only once or twice that I've heard anybody mention this. There is a few people that's talked about the flanker to this, Zerius Rouge, but not a lot of people have ever mentioned this before. So I want to. Um, this come out in 1986. This is an Ode Toilette. Um, let me show you the bottle. The bottle is really cool. I love the bottle. It's really thick, heavy-duty glass. It's uh, frosted on the front and the back. <clears throat> I always thought that uh, frosted glass looked really elegant. Um, and I love the way it feels in my hand. I love the, the feel of frosted glass, too. But it's a really classy, beautiful bottle. <clears throat> Even the cap is really cool. Really good atomizer. Um, but as far as the notes, <clears throat> I got the notes off of uh, base notes because I really trust them. I really like them. They're a lot more accurate than most websites that have um, notes to fragrances. They have six notes listed, but I do pick up other things in here that they do not have listed, but I'll talk about that in just a minute. Base notes has top notes, grapefruit, artemisia. Part notes, cypress, guyac wood, Chinese cypriol oil. Base notes, amber. I'll tell you what I get. I do get a little bit of citrus in the very opening, but the way this fragrance is composed, all these notes that I just read to you, um, you get from the very opening, or I get from the very opening all the way in to the end of the dry down. I get all these notes throughout the life of the fragrance. And these notes are really strong and really powerful notes. So there is citrus in the very opening, but it, they're sort of overpowered by all these other notes. The main thing that I get from this fragrance is this fragrance is very earthy. I think this fragrance is the most earthy fragrance I have in my entire collection. It's like if you dig up the ground and smell that soil and the roots in the ground, that's sort of the kind of earthiness it is to me. Um, this fragrance is also very woody and I would describe the woodiness in this fragrance is if you cut a tree open and smell the inside of the tree, that raw woody smell, that is the kind of woodiness this fragrance has in it. This also has a lot of green notes in it. Um, also, there's some herbs in here that I'm picking up that base notes does not have listed. I'm picking up like rosemary and maybe clary sage or sage. Um, so this is a little bit herbaceous and a little bit aromatic because of those herbs that I'm picking up. There's also something in here that I'm getting little hints and touches of throughout the life of the fragrance. It's like a barbershop fragrance. You know that old school um, barber saw, um, shaving foam, the old school stuff. I get like little touches of that throughout the life of the fragrance, which is really interesting because Overall, this fragrance is very earthy and a little bit bitter, a little bit dry. And I think that the, the little touches of barbershop in here sort of complements the earthiness and the dryness in this fragrance. And sort of, it sort of balances everything out a little bit better to where it's a lot more pleasant. Um, but I thought that was interesting that I'm picking that up in here also. But I I've always loved that smell. Um, but this is completely different from everything that they have on the market now. Um, most of the stuff on the market now is fluffy and pretty and nice smelling and floral and sweet. This is completely opposite of that. It is. There's nothing fluffy or pretty or sweet or gourmand about this fragrance. This is straight up earthy, masculine, and mature. That's how I would describe this fragrance. As a matter of fact, it was funny because um, sometimes before I'll do a review, I'll like smell, I'll like have a fragrance on and smell it and look at the bottle and try to picture who I would imagine 
this being a signature scent. And as soon as I asked myself that last night, I thought of a, an old cowboy for some reason. An old retired cowboy sitting on his front porch in a rocking chair smoking a cigar with his cowboy hat on, cowboy boots. His skin is like brown leather from being out in the sun all those years. But that's who I picture this being a signature scent. Somebody wearing this as a signature scent, I picture that guy. And I think it's because I think of this fragrance as really raw and really like dirty and earthy. Um, so I picture uh, an old cowboy wearing this fragrance as a signature scent. Um, but actually, the way I describe this fragrance doesn't sound like it would be really pleasant. But I do. I really like that kind of fragrance. I like that masculinity. Um, and that little barbershop touches in there just sort of makes it even better to me. Um, but if, if testosterone had a smell, testosterone would smell like this. That's how masculine this is to me. Um, but I looked online last night to see if this is even still available, and it actually is. I thought it might have been discontinued because nobody ever talks about this, and I never hear anybody buying this. Um, it's only the Zerius Rouge. But actually, FragranceNet still has this, and they have it on clearance. Maybe it is being discontinued, and they're trying to get rid of it. But it's fluctuating. The price on Fragrance Net is fluctuating between like $18 and $27. Um, I checked three different times and it keeps going back and forth. But it is under $30 for 100 mil. So if you're interested in this, go ahead and get it now. But remember, there's nothing pretty or fluffy about this. This is straight up man clone. This is not unisex. Um, this is a man's, a man's cologne for men, period. So keep that in mind. Um, and stay tuned. In the next day or two, I'm going to be doing that um, incense review. I got a bunch of incense from Wildberry. They're an incense company. So keep an eye out for that. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.